So hey y'all, today I'm gonna talk about my so-called vegan life. And I'm gonna kind of delve into the questions I was asking me last week. But before you do that, make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit that like button. And if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and put them down in the comment box below. Let's get started. Well, in 2001, I gave up um, beef and pork uh, because I got enlightened in college. In 2004, after being a singer, you know, and I was, I was advised that being a singer, uh, giving up milk would be smart. So I gave up milk in 2004. 2006, I went on this Martha Vineyards diet. Uh, it was like mostly green drink and fruits and vegetables and salad and no dairy was involved so then i got rid of all my dairy in 2006. then i read skinny bitch and um, becoming vegan and all the other you know vegan you know books and i became vegan in 2007. so it was an eventual gradual 12 years seems like uh progression into being a vegan some tips for going going out as vegan. I would say first is, you know, research um, some omnivore places that offer really good vegan options. One time I was at a wedding and I asked my friend specifically, I was like, look, are there going to be vegan options? She said, yes, there's gonna be vegan options. I was like, yes, I can't wait. Can't wait. Cause you know, it's hard to find vegan options, especially when you're dealing with a, a big group of people. Usually it's like whatever they have on the menu, especially at a wedding, is whatever they have on the menu. So, I was looking at everybody else's, you know, plates and I was like, oh, okay, I can't wait. And it was Italian, so they could have just cooked me up, you know, olive oil, garlic, and some broccoli. That's perfect, okay? You know what I got? So they served crudite at the very beginning of the reception. So they warmed up the crudite and they said, here's the vegan plate. Needless to say, what I like to do is, I always, you know, since my friends know that I'm vegan now, they always say, oh, there's a lot of vegan options there and more than just fries and more than just salad. So I would say when you're going out to eat, fries are your best bet. Um, anything with beans and rice, especially when you go to Mexican, beans and rice, uh, avocado, guacamole, those usually are vegan. Salsas are usually vegan. Um, when you go to Japanese restaurants or any type of Asian um, cuisine, uh, Vietnamese or Korean or just go for the noodles go for vegetables the bok choy the noodles that's really really good Italians very super easy just um, if you go to Italian spot just get pasta usually the pasta is, is made from flour and water pasta garlic olive oil sauteed with broccoli or you know mixed vegetables or whatever or just get plain marinara that always works as well so Italian Greek is pretty easy Middle Eastern is pretty easy because falafel is vegan on its own um, Jamaican food or Caribbean food is easy because it's mostly like peas and rice the cabbage they have um, a lot of great stuff that's that's vegan especially Caribbean so I love Korean food because I don't ever have to worry and they also have tofu options as well so so some vegan stereotypes well mostly what I get is you're big to be a vegan you're big to be a vegan you're big to be a vegan like if you're only eating vegetables and fruit isn't it aren't you big and most of the time I'm the only vegan that they know so of course, I'm the biggest vegan that they know because I'm the only. They have no other vegan compa to compare it to. So that's it's that. It's a white thing. Veganism is a white thing. And so Instagram accounts, he posted a picture of us eating ice cream. And a person that's not of color said they must be new to veganism. based. So um, oftentimes the size thing is a vegan stereotype. The white thing is a, is a vegan stereotype. Um, that vegans should only eat a certain type of food is a vegan stereotype. Um, yeah, those are pretty much the ones that I've encountered. 
over the past 10 years. I don't really do vitamins like that, but if I did do vitamins, my mom gave me these woman's multi 40 plus whole food multivitamins. I don't know why it's 40 plus, but um, it's non-gelatin because you know gelatin is made out of you know animal bones or whatever. And um, for my hair, um, I tend to take two MSMs and one biotin, and that usually works out fine as long as I drink a lot of water. But I usually don't do like any dietary supplements. The only thing I kind of do dietary supplements on is for protein. Um, especially if I'm lifting weights, it's um, hemp protein. That's what I usually go to. I love the um, organic protein, creamy chocolate fudge protein powder. It is delicious. I also love Nativa as well. Um, I used to subscribe and save on Amazon for Nativa hemp protein. I also sprinkle hemp hearts on my salads from time to time. And, you know, I pretty much try to plan out my meals so I can have all of my nutrients. So, yeah. Favorite vegan recipes. So I make, I love raw food in general. Um, I went raw for like three months after my father passed away um, because I knew that food was gonna be a trigger for me. Um, and I ended up losing like 10 pounds because I was mostly- I was like 95% like raw. So salads, um, I found this book uh, called The World Goes Raw Vegan Cookbook. Um, Becoming Vegan, there's also Raw Food by Annie's Raw Food, Annie Fio. Um, I like her books as well. I'll show the, I'll show the books um, separately or up here or whatever you'll see. And um, those books help me. So my favorite recipe is vegan taco salad. Uh, Pure Food and Wine used to be open um, in the city on Irving Place. And they had this taco salad and they made cashew sour cream, guacamole, salsa, and I made uh, taco meat out of walnuts and onions and chili powder. Sometimes I put shredded carrots in it to give it some more bite, but, and uh, cayenne pepper, it was delicious. Um, so, so good. So that's probably my favorite recipe. Also, you can't go wrong with the green smoothie. So I love me like bananas, like frozen bananas, some romaine lettuce and some ice cold water. That's delicious. Also, I like peanut butter. So I like frozen banana, peanut butter, um, cashews, water, it's like this deliciousness, cinnamon. Oh, it's just, I'm a smoothie girl all day. So those are my favorite recipes. Also, there's a there's another salad uh, that I got from Annie Fio's 15 Day Fat Blast. It's avocado, um, tomato, like cherry tomatoes cut in half, avocado, uh, capers, olives, salt and pepper, olive oil, apple cider vinegar, and nutritional yeast. It is so good it's like so refreshing in the summer I can't really go raw in the winter because I'd be cold but I do a lot of soups I do a lot of one-pot meals and soups in the winter and the fall um, yeah that's that do I ever get tempted uh, and how do I curb those cravings well I was a cheese girl for a long 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 time and then um, once I went vegan, I was like, I didn't really crave it anymore. But I guess the only thing that I kind of craved when I first was transitioning was pizza. But again, I've been a vegan since 2007. Actually in August, which is one day away, August 18th, it'll be my 10 year anniversary. So I got to turn up somewhere. Yeah, because my vegan anniversary is coming up. The big one zero. Um, and so when I first went, it was all about cheese, 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 cheese. And I also had like mock meats, but now I just do whole foods. I do like rice and quinoa and um, finding new gluten-free flours because I cook for my mom and she's been gluten-free since 98. So those kind of things. Um, yeah, cheese, chocolate, chocolate. This is vegan now, so a lot of stuff. The only thing is, is that, you know, sometimes when you're in a very commercial place, they don't have vegan options. So you just have to like, Kind of make things from scratch that's the one thing i don't necessarily love about being a vegan is that i kind of got to make everything or got to go somewhere special to get what i want however it's much better than it was 10 years ago because 10 years ago i had to specifically go to a health food store to get soy milk or you only can get soy milk in stores or in the specialty aisles now it's like mainstream and you can get at my local store the food marketplace dynasty food marketplace right here on 63rd drive you get cashew milk coconut milk almond milk um, soy milk and they're all different flavors chocolate soy chocolate almond cashew and 
um, almond together. It, it's a, a lot of variety, so there's that. I went cruelty-free and vegan in my makeup is because, you know, I decided that, you know, like, at the end of the day, um, I needed to be all the way, you know, cruelty-free, not just on my plate. So for the past year with Berry Berry Stylish, past two years with Berry Berry Stylish, I've been trying to find green, organic, and vegan makeup. Mostly it was cruelty free that I can find in the drugstore because I'm beat on a budget. But then now um, I'm trying to also find vegan, green, and organic makeup because it's just better for my skin. Today I have on um, LA Girl BB Cream and Dark. I know. And that's another thing about the green and vegan, vegan and organic. You know, I saw a Brown Bunny Melly post this on her YouTube pet channel. I'm about just representation and, it, and that it matters and that oftentimes, you know, there's high toxic, high toxicity in women of color's makeup. And you know, I'm brown, I'm very medium brown, and it's very hard to find foundations just for my skin tone, let alone for anybody that's darker than me. So again, when it's vegan, green, and organic, most of the skin tones are much, much, much lighter than I could ever even try to put on my face. Maybe for concealer, but even then, it's kind of ashy. So, um, but I've been trying to do that um, and just really searching for um, products for myself that represent who I am internally and externally. And I wanna look good um, using vegan and cruelty-free makeup, and I wanna feel good eating vegan and cruelty-free foods. So I hope that helped. If you have any more questions, just put them in the comments below and I'll answer them. And that's pretty much the um, extent of my vlog today. Um, make sure you subscribe, make sure you watch. I have a lot of videos on veganism and DIY and hair and makeup, but on a budget, of course. I'll see you on Thursday.